Hey, welcome back, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to position your feet on your double bass pedal so that you can get better endurance, control, and all that good stuff while you play your double bass drumming patterns. Let's get into today's video. Let's look at a couple different ways that the positioning on our footboards will actually transpire into our playing and how it will affect what we're playing. So the first thing we're going to look at is what happens when we place our feet back on the footboard. So if you take a look down here at the camera, I'll show you. So the further back you go on any pedal, whether it's these Axis long boards or if you've got Iron Cobras or Pearls or whatever, it doesn't matter. The concept and the underlying idea is still the same. So when you slide your foot back here, the range of motion and the motion itself is going to be smaller, okay? So it's going to be the same amount of time for the beater to retract after it hits the bass drum because we still need to apply the same amount of force, but unfortunately, the motion that we're actually playing on this pedal is quite minute and a lot smaller than if it were if we were to place it further up all the way towards the front of this footboard. So what's going to happen is you're going to really feel the tension and it's going to cause you to burn out quick. but it's gonna sound really frail. You're not gonna be able to get as much power. And another thing to remember too is that the control is going to lack an immense amount because what's happening here is that you actually have less surface area on the footboard for you to be able to control. Okay, so that energy is coming back through the footboard after you exert it into it initially and you just barely have that amount of control on it, okay? What I suggest is if you're playing back here to adjust your seat positioning and how you're sitting behind your double pedals. Ideally, we wanna place it at the center and I'll show you a couple different ways you can do this to practice at home. If you're looking for exercises to practice your footboard positioning to, go down below. I've got a free mini course. You'll get instant access to it and you'll learn 15 new exercises for double bass drum and control. So when you place your feet back at the base of the footboard, you're gonna have less control, okay? It's gonna take more energy and smaller movements for you to actually get that same amount of force in through the beater into the kick drum, okay? When that beater comes back is, is crucial because when it comes back, you have less pedal to play on for you to be able to control the rebound. And a lot of what we're doing in double bass drumming is being able to control the rebound and have the ability to play consistently, is it not? So when we place our feet further back, it's gonna feel tighter, it's gonna feel tougher. Because when we're further back on the footboard, we're not properly utilizing the rebound. So if you want a prime example of how this is actually working, is if you try to take your drumstick and you hold it at the end, you're gonna notice all the weight's gonna go back down there. You're not gonna be able to, unless you forcefully balance it, hold it up properly, okay? And that's the same idea with our footboard. Right, so if our foot is back here, and this is the front of our bass pedal, you're gonna notice it's gonna be the same distance of movement, but you're gonna it's gonna require you to play a lot more force down here at the footboard, all right? So if you're playing this way, I want you to be aware. If you got a phone, I know you got a phone, you need to take video of yourself playing on your pedals to see where your feet are, if they're sliding upwards or backwards on the pedal footboard itself, and to try and correct that positioning so that you can play with more control and more speed. Now, what's gonna happen if we put our feet all the way forward to the front of the bass pedal like this? You're gonna notice when you slide your feet from the back all the way to the front of your footboard, it's gonna be the opposite effect, right? Cause and effect. So when we slide our foot up here, we're gonna have the most amount of control on our double bass pedals. The only problem with that is that we can't feel the tension from the rebound. So how are we supposed to be able to control in time to orchestrate our phrasing correctly when we're double bass drumming? That's the problem when we put our feet all the way towards the front, okay? You cannot feel the tension. Which for some of you, you might like that, but what I find works the most for footboard positioning is to find the sweet spot between the heel plate and the front of the board. And for me, that is usually right about here in the center of the footboards. What that gives me is the most amount of control over the rebound and my ability to express myself is much easier because I don't have all that tension or not enough tension and I could get the maximum amount of movement out of my foot in the ankle technique to go through my ankle, into my pedals, and to my bass drum. So if we're all the way back here, it looks like this. 
If we're all the way forward, it looks like this, and our legs are at such a great angle, we can't quite put the power all the way down to our leg, or if we need to hold our legs up for the ankle motion, it makes it really difficult to control. So I try and make my legs a little greater than 90 degrees. I don't want them back here playing under my knee, and I don't want them too far forward like this, because I won't be able to properly articulate the techniques that I've been trying to physically memorize. If I put it right in the middle and I position my throne distance away from the snare accordingly, then that is where the positioning of your feet should be on your footboards. If you just look down here at this camera, you'll notice that you can control the balance much easier. My footboard is actually following my foot, okay? My foot is not coming off and, and making that noise and slapping the footboard before it actually, the beater is moved into the bass drum head, okay? So it's not... We're trying to minimize that, right? Ideally, we want the pedal to follow our foot. Another thing for you to notice too is that my spring tension on my pedals are very loose. Normally, I played them really tight, but I found that at faster speeds, I wanted more power into the kick drum. And because of the high spring tension at the time, I really had to use a lot of muscles and I wasn't able to freely control the rebound. So I loosened them up and now it feels like there's less tension, it flows a lot nicer, and there, it feels like there's a lot more weight under my feet, okay? So I went from Iron Cobras to playing Axis and that was quite the difference in weight. And so I had a thought, what if I loosen the springs so that I could feel more weight of the pedal and I can actually use my foot to throw it like I normally would on my Iron Cobras? and it actually seemed to work. So if you have access pedals, then I do highly suggest you try that out. So you're probably wondering, well, how do I practice where my foot is going to be positioned on the footboard? Just think of it logically, okay? Don't try and overthink it. Like I said previously, take your phone, film yourself when you're playing. And if you find that your feet are creeping back or creeping forward, then correct it, okay? What we need to remember is that if we keep repeating ourselves, we're going to actually physically remember how to do it properly and it's almost going to become muscle memory to us. If you've got your feet in the right place and you're looking to get better double bass drumming control, then go down to the description below and click the link for my free double bass drumming mini course. You'll get instant access to it and you can practice the footboard positioning along with those exercises. There's videos and PDFs and comments section and stuff you can leave your questions with me as well and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So if that sounds like something you're interested to and you want instant access, click that link below. That's going to help you immensely along with the footboard positioning video you're watching now. So I just want you to go ahead, grab that. It's free for you to have and I really want to help you out with your double bass drumming and that's my way of saying thank you for staying committed to watching my videos and learning from me. So there's three things we need to understand. Too far back, not good. Too far forward, not as good. Just in the middle, perfect. It's like Goldilocks with the three bears in the porridge, right? You gotta find that sweet spot. So just remember, if you're having difficulties trying to keep your feet in place, there's also grip tape, like skateboard grip tape you can use. I personally don't use grip tape because I've internalized where I can feel the difference in tension on my footboards. And so just remember those three things. Too far, too far, just perfect. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name's Cam Flurry, and I'll see you in the next one.